What's going on, ladies and gents? It's me, the Great Heisman here. I just got done watching WrestleMania 35. Uh, it was a hell of a WrestleMania, if you guys ask me. Um, but this was possibly the craziest ending to a WrestleMania game. Like, <coughs> no joke. This was just uh, Becky Lynch. She's the champion. So, hey, um, she deserves, like, props to her. for. I think this is, the, what, is this, like, the first time ever that she won a championship? Or I'm not sure, though. But, uh, hey, she... She did it. Like, wow. That was that was mad. I mean, I haven't watched Deb Deb in forever just because, like, I was kinda, I'm still kind of pissed off about them, you know, making The Undertaker end his streak at WrestleMania. Like, I don't know why they would make him end his undefeated streak. That was so dumb, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Okay, so let me give you my thoughts on the game, on the matches. So the first one was Tony Nesse and Buddy Murphy. I don't know what to say about that match. Uh... Then you had a Carmella who won the Women's Battle Royale. Then Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder, they won the uh, Tag Team Championship. So, uh, yeah. Wow, uh, yeah. I didn't know that Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder were back, but yeah, they're back. And then you have Braun Strowman, he who won the M M Andre the Giant Memorial uh, Battle Royale. Then Seth Rollins. Okay, I don't understand about this match at all. How the hell does Seth Rollins beat Brock Lesnar in just 2 minutes and 30 seconds? Like, can somebody explain that to me? That doesn't make any sense because it's like you have Brock Lesnar, a guy who single-handedly ended the Undertaker's undefeated streak at WrestleMania 5 years ago, only for him to lose in just less than 3 minutes, not a full 3 minutes, and Brock Lesnar loses to Seth Rollins. Like, how does that happen? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Seriously, I just don't understand that at all then you have aj styles defeating randy orton that was a good match then the usos won the uh smackdown tag team championship then she had the shane mcmahon versus the miz match which was pretty pretty a pretty good match too then you had the iliconics who won the women's tag team championship and beth phoenix she made a one night return to wrestlemania the thing about beth phoenix is that uh, i actually met her at SummerSlam 2011 that was a good moment uh, i met her super nice person and uh yeah so i wanted her and italia to win because i thought that they that that they really deserved to win but uh fortunately they didn't win so that kind of sucks but um yeah then you had the kofi kingston versus daniel bryan that was a hell of a get match between kofi and daniel like no joke it looked like that daniel bryan was gonna win that match because hey man daniel bryan he's the submission specialist whether you like him or not daniel bryan is a heck of a talent seriously that guy that guy's a special talent, and, you know, Kofi Kingston won the WWE Championship, I think, for the first time ever. Uh, I'm not sure, though, because, you know, like I said before, I haven't watched WWE in, like, forever. But uh, props to Kofi for winning. Like, Kofi Kingston deserved it, man. I've been a big fan of him for a long time now for, like, I remember when he was at WWE, like, in 2008. And, you know, I'm uh, happy for him. I've always been a big fan of Kofi Kingston. He's always been one of those underrated wrestlers that never really got a title shot. But now that he finally got a title shot, he took advantage of that title shot title uh, shot opportunity. And he went it. So, hey, I wanted Kofi Kingston to win. So happy for him. Like, he deserves it, man. I'm, uh, I'm still a big fan of Kofi, you know. Uh, happy for him. Well-deserved victory. Then you had the Samoa Joe versus Rey Mysterio game. And... The, the match, and wow, dude, I can't believe it, man. Right? Rey Mysterio, he's one of my favorite WWE wrestlers, too. Um, if not my favorite, just because, you know, he's from San Diego, and I grew up in San, San Diego, so of course I was rooting for Rey Mysterio. But, um, wow, he got squashed by Samoa Joe in just one minute. What the hell? Like, you gotta be joking me, man. I can't believe that that, that actually freaking happened. That actually happened? Wow. Unfreaking believable. Seriously. Then you have Roman Reigns defeating Drew McIntyre, so yeah, and then a Triple H versus Batista game. That was a pretty, a pretty good matchup. But in the end, that was a pretty cheesy ending because it's like I wanted to see a sledgehammer fight, and then Ric Flair just, you know, just uh, distracts Batista, and that kind of, in my opinion, that that was kind of that kind of ruined the, uh, the moments right there. You know, like, I mean, I don't have anything against Ric Flair, but <laughs> seriously, like, how the hell? Like, that just, like, that could have been a good moment between Triple H and Batista, just them battling each other with sledgehammers, but, and Ric Flair just pops out of nowhere and shit, and that just kind of grew into the perfect opportunity right there to see that. Like, what the hell? I don't understand that at all. But then, um, uh, Kurt Angle, he lost to Baron Corbin. 
uh, that was uh, it was another good match. But uh, Kurt Angle, I thought he was going to win that match. You know, Kurt Angle deserved to go out a winner, but unfortunately, he he didn't win. Like that's a terrible way for Kurt Angle to go out. Like seriously, I I thought he was going to win that. It's because I wanted to see him go out as a winner, but unfortunately, Baron Corbin won that match, and then you have Finn Balor who defeated Bobby Lashley in less than five minutes. So yeah. So this is like the third WrestleMania match where somebody defeated somebody in less than five minutes. That, that happened three times at WrestleMania. Like, what the hell? And then the Becky Lynch, Ronda Rousey, Charlotte Flair. That was a hell of a match. I wanted Charlotte Flair to win just because, hey, I mean, when it comes to women's, when it comes to the WWE Divas, like, I'm a big fan of Charlotte Flair. I mean, Charlotte Flair, hey, she's gorgeous, man. I gotta admit, Charlotte Flair, she's freaking amazing. And I thought she was gonna win this, but, um... Yeah, Becky Lynch won, so a, hey, uh, wow, she just, uh, I thought Ronda Rousey was gonna win right there at the end, but she just, uh, did a roll-up on Ronda Rousey, and, wow, this is Ronda Rousey's first loss in the WWE, first loss by pinfall, yeah, I think this is the, her first loss by pinfalls, so overall, I give WrestleMania an 8 out of 10, just because I don't understand, like, how, um, how Brock Lesnar lost in less than three minutes like that was just unfreaking believable but uh yeah let me know what you guys thought about this wrestlemania event um uh like i said before uh, it was a good wrestlemania you know but uh yeah there was lots of surprises in the wrestlemania especially at the last becky lynch that was just a major upset win like not gonna lie that was just a completely major upset win by becky lynch and yeah i feel bad for charlotte flair that she lost because, you know, I think she deserved to win. You know, I wanted her to win. But, yeah, just a very surprising ending to uh, to the event. But, yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you thought about this. If you enjoyed this um, review, then make sure you guys leave a like button, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, and I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one.